the Michigan Wolverines with the ball at the Ohio State 29-yard line. For late tuners in, again, just to briefly sum up the Big Ten race, if Michigan wins today, that's it. They win the Big Ten championship, go to the Rose Bowl. If Ohio State wins today, they then must await the outcome of the game between Michigan State and Iowa being played at Iowa City. That game will start in about an hour and a half, and what Ohio State would need is a Michigan State victory. If Iowa were to win, then the Hawkeyes would go. First down, Wolverines at the 29. On the option, Smith down the line, tries to turn the corner and gets buried at the 28-yard line. Interestingly enough, these two teams are last and next to last in passing defense. Smith to the air, got Carter at the 15-yard line. First down at the 15-yard line. Same action in the backfield for Steve Smith. He fakes to the tailback on the blaster isolation play. Anthony Carter from his left wide receiver spot is running the curl-in route and the ball is thrown exactly at the numbers. As Ali Haji Sheik comes in, Haji Sheik has not had a particularly good year as far as field goals are concerned. Only three out of eight, though he's not missed an extra point. The longest of his three field goals this season, 42 yards. This one to be spotted at the nine. Straight in front of the goal post, 19-yard attempt to try to put Michigan ahead, and the kick is good. So Carter sets up the drive with the punt run back. 6.59 to go in the period. Michigan on the board. 3-0 Wolverines. Penalty is declined after the incompletion. Third down 10 from the 17. Gale the tailback. The fake to Gale. Schleister setting up. Has time. Right side complete out to the tight end Frank who gets dropped at the 27-yard line. Edwards with the wind at his back. Carter at the 25-yard line, looking for some room. Coming back the other way, the 30, and dumped at the 34-yard line, and done the job for Schembechler here. Third down and two. Smith keeping, first down, gets to midfield. Stop. Wolfolk around the right side for a gain of seven. Jerome Foster made the stop, and Ed Moransky made the gain possible with a fine block. his way forward to the 36-yard line. Garcia Lane and Anthony Griggs converge for the tackle. Smith going over the middle and picked off. Intercepted by Marcus Merrick off the tip. And Merrick is dropped at the 18-yard line. Kelvin Bell deflected it and Merrick makes the interception. And the Buckeyes have picked off a pair now. Well, you've heard of the old tip drill that's run in practice from time to time now. Steve Smith throws this ball a little late because his receiver is open momentarily down the middle. Here's the tip by Bell, and here is Marcus Merrick, the great linebacker for Ohio State, the leading tackler on the team, and now adds an interception. Now from Merrick's viewpoint, you see what a linebacker has to do? He has to let play the run first. Now he's chasing, and the ball is tipped right into his hands. That's a fortunate tip. So the Buckeyes from the 18 with a minute five to go in the quarter. Spencer straight ahead. Second down seven. Schleister over the middle. Man open at the 37-yard line. It's Cedric Anderson for the first down. Clock running on first down. Give it to Spencer and a big hole through the middle as he gets to midfield. Anderson wide to the right. Schleister gives it to Spencer. Another Inside the 40 and a first down at the 35-yard line. Moving him to the left, Anderson to the right. First and 10. Hart to the air. Going over the middle to the tight end. Frank breaks a tackle at the 18-yard line and is smothered at the 15. So the Buckeyes and Bruce, after the first down, Sleister coming over. Imparts some information to Earl. His third confrontation against Jim Beckler. And the Wolverines winning in 79, losing last season. First down, Ohio State at the 12. Michigan leading 3-0 early. Second quarter. Sleister again checking off. Pullback, Broadnax. And here we go on second and goal. Out of the eye, it's Sleister himself taking it in. Arch Sleister follows Jim DeLeon into the end zone. Schleister 
Spencer going in for the score, and Ohio State takes the lead. First down from the 33-yard line as Smith keeps it himself and gets it out to the 40-yard line. Receivers covered. Chris Ream catches up with him. Third down at two. A long two. Smith. Overthrowing the intended receiver, Vince Bean. From the 43-yard line, it's Schleister. And a fine catch made by Anderson. Low and behind him. Second period. And third and ten. Schleister looking for Anderson. Almost makes the catch, but no. At the 23-yard line. Burkai and Jackson covering on the play. Big hole through the middle. Lawrence Ricks, his first carry of the day, and the backup tailback takes it all the way out to the 37-yard line. Some scores, games getting in the way. Notre Dame and Penn State tied 7-7. Mountaineers have a 10-0 lead over Syracuse in the second quarter. Second down and nine from the 38-yard line. And it's Smith keeping, 45 to the 50. And for a first down to the Buckeye 47-yard line. Just looking at it from here, Cupper, I don't think they have it. Crucial fourth and one situation. It is part two of the option play in which the quarterback keeps it himself. He went high. I think he should have gone low if he wants to get that crucial yardage. At the 38. Schleister hit as he throws and incomplete. Intended for Gary Williams and Schleister shaken up. Art really took a pop as he unloaded. It was Jerry Burgai blitzing through. First and ten, Michigan from the 35-yard line. Smith to the 43, the B. He really drills this ball. Watch how much authority he puts on this football. Right here. Stands tall in the pocket, throws the ball to the outside. Deep hook pattern to Bean along the sideline. Great shot. First and 10 from the 43 clock. 38 seconds remaining in a one hopper. Incomplete. Has a wide receiver split to the right. Smith looking for Carter. And throwing underneath at the 22 yard line, but incomplete. Stan Edwards, the intended receiver, but the ball hit the ground. Pretty much the type of football game we forecast at the top of the show. We predicted that it would be a low scoring game, which has been so characteristic of this series. However, there has been a lot of movement offensively for both teams. Exactly. Also some effectiveness on the return game. The offenses have been anything but conservative, except in this particular situation here, where Schleister will be very content just to run the clock out. Well done by the quarterback. So they will let time expire. And the teams will go into the locker room at the half with the Buckeyes of Ohio State leading Michigan. Seven to three. Third and five. Schleister. And Williams makes the one-handed grab at the 34-yard line. Run out of bounds there by Jerry Burgai. Good read by Arch Schleister as we look at Williams, number 44, the most prolific receiver in Buckeye history. Hmm. Here is a one-handed catch. Look at the hand-eye coordination. Third down and a long three. Just outside the 40-yard line. Schleister overthrowing his intended receiver, the tight end Frank, and upset with himself. Wolfolk out past the 30 to the 40 and to the 45 yard line where Garcia Lane makes the tackle. Dunaway is in motion. First man through Edwards inside the 35 for a first down to the 25 yard line. Hill, Garcia Lane, converge on the stop. And Smith gets dropped at the nine. Sean Gale charging through, number two, to stop him on the option. Michigan has not been effective in short yardage situations using the option play. They're trying it again. Here is a great read by number two, Sean Gale, shooting the gap. 
and hitting the quarterback before he can operate the option play. Ozzy Sheik now directly in front of the goalpost. 25-yard attempt. They'll spot it at the 15-yard line. B.J. Dickey to hold. And Ozzie Sheik's kick is good. So he has accounted for all of the Michigan scoring. Schuster off the straight drop. Wobbly pass. And tip. And intercepted at the 48-yard line by Jackson. Well, we saw the tip drill earlier in the day. Now we're going to see it again. Cedric Anderson, number 22, is the intended receiver. Now watch the tip by number 13 with his left hand, and he puts the ball up over his shoulder. And then finally, the ball is intercepted with a juggling catch along the sideline by number 37, Tony Jackson. Smith keeping inside the 40, has the first down. Full focus is the tailback. There's Schembechler. Edwards, the fullback. Give it to Edwards, and he's wrapped up. Merrick was in on that play, along with Glenn Cobb. So again, Ohio State stiffening, and it's fourth down. Two with Haji Sheik to come in again. Six so, times to the Rose Bowl in 12 seasons, a total of eight bowl games in the 12 years that he's been here. Interestingly enough, Ali Haji Sheik having a disappointing year as far as field goals were concerned, only three of eight in 10 games, trying to kick his third today and put Michigan out on top. 23 yard attempt. First down from the 17. Broken play. Schleister. Out to the 21-yard line. He splits Williams to the left. Off the fake. Going for the tight end. Frank over the middle at the 50-yard line. And stays with it to make the catch. And gets hammered by Bostick and Burgoy. Great concentration by Frank. And a lot of traffic on a wobbly pass to make the catch. First down, Buckeyes. This might be Schleister's best pass of the day. Little bootleg action to the right, sets up behind his right guard. Here's Frank, the tight end. Now watch Bostic come into your picture, and Burgai to give him a little sandwich in the secondary. Another look, and you can see how that ball really threaded the needle. It had to be right there. From the 47, it's Spencer taking it to the 44. And Chile Ann Arbor, here we go. Into the fourth quarter, Ohio State has the ball at the Michigan 44-yard line. Second down and six. Michigan on top, nine to seven. And Art Schleister back to throw on second down. Under some pressure, and it's intercepted at the 10-yard line by Brian Carpenter. Carpenter out to the 15. And dropped at the 18-yard line. Another big turnover for the Wolverines. Schleister is trying to throw to number 22, Cedric Anderson, his wide receiver. The ball is thrown short and to the inside. And number nine, Brian Carpenter, is right there. And this is maybe the biggest turnover of the day right here and a big break for the Wolves. Michigan at its own 19-yard line, first and 10. Butch Walfall, good-sized hole, and he exploits it but loses the ball, and Ohio State has it at the 28. View from the linebacker's point of view right here. Wolfick, the hit, is by Bell. And Gale comes in on the recovery. Third down and six at the 23. Off the fake. Schleister looking for Spencer. Incomplete. So here is Bob Ethan now. Line of scrimmage 23, spotted at the 30 at an angle, 40-yard kick with the win. 12 out of 16 for the season. Mike Tomzak holds. It's long enough, but it is no good. Wide to the right. Smith on second and nine. Going over the middle, he's got Carter at the 40-yard line, and he takes a shot, but it's a first down for the Wolverines. the 44-yard line, four. Smith over the middle, finds
brings his man Carter to the 32-yard line on a first down. Garcia Lane, Michigan leading 9-7. Smith on a big play here. Going for Bean, and he makes the catch at the 8-yard line, just inbounds. Vince Bean is the second leading receiver on the team, and he's at his wide receiver position on the right. He goes down, he really gets the defense backing up, and he cuts to the outside, and here is a perfect sideline route. So six points go a wasting. It's third down, goal at the eight. of the tight end going to the corner of the end zone and let's watch for Kelvin Bell on a sensational interception. The tip first by Sean Gale and the teamwork by number four Bell in the end zone. Big break for the Buckeyes. Third down and eight Buckeyes from the 33 yard line. 6.49 to play. Sleister under pressure. Rolling and throwing off balance, complete to the 44-yard line to Spencer. This is a great effort by number 10, Arch Schleister. Now watch this. He does a little move here, escape dimension to the left. He's off balance. Spencer is scrambling along the sidelines. There is the leading ball carrier on the team, this time as a pass receiver. Schleister finding Williams, and he is bumped forward down to the 39-yard line. At the 28-yard line, first down, Ohio State. Spencer with some room to the outside. Inside the 25, the 20. And dragged down at the 10-yard line by Brian Carpenter. Sets up on the right side as they send Williams in motion. Off the fake, on a roll. Schleister trying to get a block. Keeping and... who goes into the wall hard, the patch of ice and the snowbank there, and Arch Schleister waiting for the block, maneuvering, finding the corner of the end zone. Broadnax was the man out in front. Buckeyes have the lead. This is a tribute to the all-around athletic ability of one of the great performers in Big Ten history, Arch Schleister. Now watch what happens when he gets to the perimeter. He pauses. He looks for the block. He makes his move back to the outside and into the end zone. Great individual effort by number 10, Arch Schleister. Terrific play. 13 to 9, going on 14. Ethan to attempt the extra point. Smith keeping. Spun down at the 44 yard line. Fourth down. Smith for Dunaway overthrows it. Ohio State to get it back. But today running into a most formidable foe. And it was Arch Schleister who had it when he needed it. And that will be the final play of the game. Buckeyes do not have to run off another one. Mr. Schleister and his mates have a victory over Michigan and at least a share of the Big Ten Championship. So if Iowa wins, it'll be the Hawkeyes going to the Rose Bowl. But Arch Schleister will be remembered as a winner. Earl Bruce gets the ride off the field as the Ohio State Buckeyes beat the Michigan Wolverines. The final score, 14-9.